Hi, I'm Jesus, and this is a follow-up video to my Face at London Major sticker investments vid. Eagerly anticipated by the standards of my small channel, I think I may have had as many as 10 requests. And it's finally here, so we're going to have a look at what I invested in and how much profit I made. So back in September when the Face at London Major sticker sale was on, I went and bought a few cheap stickers on my alt, and four months on, I finally sold them all. Now. Valve changed my currency from American dollars to Australian dollars in the meantime, which makes keeping track of how much money I've made quite a bit more difficult. And I also deleted the record I was keeping of all the stuff I was selling, which also makes my job a bit more difficult. I uh, kind of screwed up a little bit there, but it shouldn't be a problem. I can still, still do it fine. So we're going to start by looking at what I bought and how much I paid for it. First of all, I got about 550 regular stickers. Now, the prices here are in US dollars, just so there's no confusion about that. You'll also notice that I was able to get some of these stickers for less than 25 cents by buying up stickers that were used for Pick'ems after the group stage ended. So NIP, Fnatic, Mouseports and G2 were all selling for around 20 cents at this point, so I bought up a heap of their stickers. Everything else was bought in-game from Valve, and all up I paid about $125. On top of that, I also bought about 140 hollers and foils off the community market during the sale, and Thankfully, I also recorded what I paid for them in a YouTube video, which was kind of handy. As you can see, I ended up with a bit of a mishmash of stuff. I deliberately set more buy orders than I had money, so it all ground to a halt when I ran out of cash, and there's some fairly random looking quantities as a result. Obviously, I went heaviest on the optic stuff. That was quite cheap, so I picked up quite a bit of it, and also the Renegades foils, they were also quite cheap, and most of the remaining stickers ended up being Fnatic and Rogue Hollows. The, the Fnatic foils, the North foils, and the Gambit Hollows didn't come through quite as much on the buy orders, but that's fine. And adding all this up, it comes to about $115, which means between the two groups of stickers, I paid $241.56. Now, You'd think that selling these stickers would be fairly straightforward. I certainly did, and I booted up a bit of malware so I could use its automated listing feature and got to work. As it happens though, I was in for a bit of a shit show, but let's not worry about that yet. Let's start with the easy part, which is the ordinary team stickers. These stickers sold pretty well, all things considered. I've converted the prices I sold them for into US dollars. The conversion rate is one US dollar for every $1.40 Australian. It's not the same as the exchange rate if you're buying something in CSGO either. These items are priced differently, so don't look to them as a reference point. Also, because I sold some of these stickers a couple of weeks ago, the prices may have shifted now. Anyway, as you can see, Cloud9 really led the way, and most of the other stickers were decent pickups as well, especially FaZe and Fnatic, and I mean, this major stickers weren't particularly amazing, so given they performed kind of shit, I think I did a reasonable job picking winners. The main area I came unstuck were the two smaller American teams. I lost money on both of them, and I think the lesson is really to stick with the big names rather than going for something more niche. I probably would have been better going for something like Navi or VP or Astralis, and you know, even if I didn't make money on those, I'm pretty safe not to lose it either. So that's definitely something I'll keep in mind for the next major. So anyway, $20 profit. It's not brilliant, but it's acceptable, all things considered. Now, the hollows and foils is where it gets a bit more complicated for several reasons. First of all, there's this. This is the price history of the Optic Hollow. And as you can see, during November and December, its price was rising quite rapidly. But at the end of December, it crashed catastrophically. And this wouldn't have been a problem for me if it wasn't for the fact that when I went to try and sell them at the start of December, I forgot the password on my alt, had to reset it, and got myself locked off the scene community market until January the 1st, which meant that I had to sell during this period here. So that's a bit awkward. I'm kind of paying the price for it, particularly since the same thing happened with the Optic Foils and Renegade Foils, but it was my fault, so I think I've really got to suck that one up. Now, the other major problem I had is that hollows and foils actually don't sell very fast. If you look at the sales volumes for some of the stickers I was trying to get rid of, they're pretty low compared to the number of stickers that I had, and that forced me to improvise a bit in getting rid of them. And my solution was to trade some of them on CS Money for some easier to sell skins. So I got a couple of Orions and an Orb Boom. Despite doing that though, it still took me about three weeks to get rid of all these stickers, just because they were selling so slowly, and I ended up having to discount some stuff to get rid of it, which was definitely annoying, but 
at the end of the day, I did manage to pull up a profit. Now, as you can see, this slide is arranged a bit differently because the stickers were often sold for different values and not all of them were sold. So I've sort of got cumulative totals of how much I made off each sticker and everything else has just been lumped into the skins I got from CS Money down the bottom. And the end result, all things considered, is still, you know, a nice little profit, but it is overshadowed by the fact that if I'd, you know, sold off my Optic and Renegade stuff, a month and a bit earlier, I probably would have made more like 70 or $80. So it is a pity, but a profit is a profit. I definitely have learned some lessons though. Firstly, I think this shows that I should probably buy smaller quantities of each type of hollow and foil in the future so they're easier to sell off. And so you don't get wrecked as badly if a single item crashes in price. I'm thinking maybe five foils and 15 hollows per particular team sticker in the future. And also, if any of these stickers start showing a steady increase in price, it's probably better to take advantage of it and sell then rather than keep holding because as we've seen, these things might not last. So anyway, adding both these groups of stickers up for an investment of $241.56, I've gotten $283.67 back, which is about 17% profit, which is acceptable. It's not a massive profit, but for a four month investment, it's not negligible either and it wasn't like I was really risking losing that much money anyway these stickers weren't going to go down in price that much and there's definitely been some useful lessons learned now I haven't talked about capsules at all so far which I'll discuss now I did buy 30 hollow and foil capsules on my main I'm going to hold on to them a bit longer because I think given six months their prices will have gone up but Otherwise, they've been a pretty crappy investment, and I don't think I'm going to bother with them anymore in the future. What I did miss out on this major, though, was the autograph capsules. I've written them off for the last two majors as terrible investments that were massively overbought, and both times I was proven wrong. And I do have a theory about why. I'll outline it in some other video, but basically, it looks like there's nice, quick money to be made from them. So for I am Katowice. I'll definitely have to consider getting some, although once again, I'll go into it in a bit more detail in another video when the time comes. So anyway, all in all, there's definitely been some disappointments with my investments, but I have still picked up a profit. I've got $40 more to invest with in my alt than I did last time, which is pretty neat, and I'm excited to see what IEM Katowice brings. Hopefully the stickers won't be too bad. I'm, I'm low-key hoping we'll get some hollow effects similar to the Kato 15 stickers again, or maybe not but I can always hope and with that I'll close out this video so if you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe otherwise trust the numbers not your guts I'm Jesus thanks for watching see ya